Ah, it is back, people. I want I want to kind of show, well, the best way I can show how to uh, read some plans. Uh, <clears throat> this is the uh, you got air handlers, you got supplies, and uh, defuses and trunk lines. And sometime in the future, this may help you uh, troubleshoot because sometimes you need to uh, like. If you got a unit with bad airflow or something like that, you may need the plans or, or uh, it can get you out of a whole bunch of uh, trouble if you know how to read the plans. So <clears throat> I'm gonna try to explain the best way I can and, and, and the best way of the easy. And like I say, this is not professional advice or anything like that. Uh, I just wanna try to uh, give back as much as possible and uh, hope that somebody can use it in the future. But I'm gonna start off uh, with the, this right here. With all these lines, these these are air handlers. This box right here, it's kind of shaped like this, with a whole bunch of lines. That's your air handler unit right there. Okay, and you got your air handler unit, and you got your trunk line. Where it say 24 by 12. This little piece right here, or the transition right here. So, in these boxes right here are your diffusers. This was spread the air, the CFM, the air out, and they they, they use they shape like this. So even when you're drawing something for your supervisor or something like that, if you draw a box like that, because sometimes they ask you how many uh, uh, supply uh, supply diffusers that they have. So they come with a box with an X on it. And these right here is a uh, return grill. And they come with a box with one line. It don't have an X on there. Okay. Now, your diffusers, you see that 215 right there? Every one of these diffusers is going to have a number on them. 150, 150, 150, 150, 250, 215, 180, 180, 180, 180. Okay, we're going to add all them up because those are your CFM. Okay. So I got 215, 215 plus 150 plus 150 plus 80 plus 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus 215 okay equal you guys out of all those added up you got 1750 okay you got 1750 CFM. So that means when you add all these su supply diffusers up, it's a total of 1750. Now this is your air handler with a blower motor in that blows all the air. You got 1750 CFM. So that air handler, if you do a uh, a, a, a duct traverse coming from this air handler unit that's blowing this air you do a duct traverse right there you should get 1750 uh blowing 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 out your blower motor that's your blower motor you should get 1750 out of there okay 1750 and like i say each one of those sometimes these have a little damper right here Let's say if you're just getting started off on the install or something, these have dampers in there. So you're supposed to get like a flow hood and it measure, measures uh, 215. And you open to close your damper until you get 215. And this one, you got a, uh, like I say, same thing. You got a damper, you open to close it until you get 150. And they all should uh, add up to 1750. And like I said, and these are your returns right here. Like I said earlier, with the one line, this is your returns, with just one line going through it. Um, 
technically all these returns should add up to 17.50. And like I said, you got supply on this side. This is where your filters be at on your air handler. At that air handler, and actually you're supposed to get 17.50. So whatever is going uh, coming out of the air handler, suppose what the air handler uh, uh, CFL producing. So I got air handler 24, and it should tell you. And actually. Uh, I <clears throat> just just give you a kind of idea of what I was talking about. Uh, this is your air handling unit right here, and this is like an area view. Uh, what I was explaining on the uh, plans. Remember, one had one supply had two fifty. One was one fifty, one fifty, one fifty. I think the other one was like one eighty. And same on this side and it should all add up to 1750 um, <clears throat> when I say your filters go in here back at your return and here here's your supply with the blower motor on the inside all that when if you do a duct traverse right here with somebody uh, did I think I did this a long time ago you do a duct, duct traverse right here uh, and it's a traverse meter, but you can add up, and it should add up to like 1750. 1750 supply coming out of here. I'm, I'll do a video on the duck traverse too. It's a formula that you can just put in the numbers. And I think you take the, the square footage of the duck, um, and that's how you get your supply air coming out to the uh, air handling unit. So you can should get 1750 here, and this is a common return. So those returns I showed you with the one line, there'll be some type of perforated grills somewhere in the space. But uh, I hope that helped kind of explain how to you know, read plans and, and how to uh, troubleshoot it or you'll, you'll need to know how to read them plans for several different type things. Uh, like I say, you can get a flow hood, do a duct traverse. You'll know exactly how many CFM you got. Those are the dampers that I was talking about. You have to adjust to get your 250 uh, CFMs out of there. Uh, like I say, you could have a pinch duct or something like that. So you can get your flow hood and you can measure, make sure you have 250. That's the top of the uh, supply diffuser right there. So you can have a kink somewhere in your duct, or you can have, or you can have this duct can be broken, and all the air can be going into your attic or your space. So just by reading the plans, you can just go right to your plans, and and uh, just say you have one, two, three, four, five, ten supply diffusers on your plans, but you, if you come to your duct work, you only see like eight uh, supply diffusers in, in your plans read 10 where the engineers draw it up so you supposed to be supplying 1750 but you only got eight diffusers so that means each supply diffuser is going to be uh have more cfm than it's supposed to and sometimes that make the space uncomfortable or you might have humidity problems it's a whole bunch of stuff that, that just by reading them plans can save you a lot of time and get you out of a lot of trouble uh, I'm going to show one more quick thing that if somebody kind of know how to read plans with a cop. Uh, <clears throat> but it's the same concept that I was trying to explain. Because those are air handling units right there. But on the plans, those are VAV boxes. See, these are actually VAV boxes. It's the same concept, though. And the air handlers are right here. So you got a bunch of VAV boxes. If all these VAV boxes read 1750 CFM, you'll add up all the VAV boxes 
1750 times how many it is? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, a whole bunch of them. So, how much them VAV boxes is producing? That's how much air handling should be producing. So, if you got like, if you add all these 17 up, and if you got like, what, five VAV boxes, you got 6,000 CFM coming from those VAV boxes, then you should have 6,000. Uh, CFM coming from the air handling unit. Uh, like I said, we can probably go more in detail later if I think about it. I was just walking past these plans and say, let me make a quick video. Like I say, this ain't profes professional uh, advice or whatever, but I do try to explain things as simple as possible because this stuff really is not hard. It just needs to be explained in a way that anybody can understand. And so, I, like I said, I hope, hope that did help though. Uh, any question, just leave a comment. <clears throat> Please uh, like and subscribe to my videos or my channel. If you think anybody that, uh, that, that can use it or see the video useful, uh, send them a link and just tell them to look up Lifestyle Unlimited. That's kind of cool right here. I was just looking at that. It looked like people sitting at a desk. So that must be like a um, conference room right there. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. Uh, like I say, plan stuff cool. Like I say, it, it more than to HBAC than just, you know, maintenance, troubleshooting, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, keep an open mind and try to learn as much as you can. All right, peace out.